Welcome to the Limpa project videos. Today I'm going to talk about digital learning and what it means. So most of the time when people talk about digital learning, what do they talk about? They show pictures like these. So that means when people talk about digital learning, they focus on the word digital. So they focus on tools and not on learning. What if for a once we tried not to speak about tools, but to focus on learning, to give more weight to our pedagogy and to put the learner back at the center of our learning practice. For that, there is a model that can help, which is called the SAMR model. And the SAMR model actually assesses our level of digital disruption. Because most of the time when people talk about digital learning, what they talk about is doing the same thing with digital tools that they did before with analogical tools. The summary model has been created by Ruben Puente Dura, an American consultant. And the summary model is an acronym. S stands for substitution, meaning you will do the exact same thing with a digital tool that you actually do with traditional tools. For instance, a search. You search for a word definition, you will type the word in Google and try to find the definition. In the real world, you would have open a dictionary and search for the definition in the dictionary. Augmentation goes a step further because you add some feature to your practice, like you search for something, but you can use a bookmark and save your search, something that wasn't easy to do with a dictionary. Then there is a further step, modification, that allows you to significantly reconfigure the task. For instance, the learners download their search results on their iPad with a Notability app. They can turn the web page they just downloaded into a PDF file. They can write some notes on it. They can add text, they can add sounds, and they can share it with their classmate. So something you couldn't have done without a digital tool. And finally, the R stands for redefinition. Technology allows you to design tasks that were unthinkable, inconceivable before. For instance, for the same search, learners which are distant, one in France, one in uh, Africa, one in America, can work together in real time with Mindomo, put some bookmarks on websites to gather links, text or pictures, and to share that in a mind map that they can modify in real time, that they can collaborate on in real time, even at a distance, even at thousands of kilometers away. And this is something that couldn't have been made without digital tools. But for me and my partners, digital must also be inclusive. And in inclusive digital working, there are three levels. The first level is sharing, simply sharing resources, links, and documents with the other participants. The other level is contribution. So not only you can share, but people have the same goal, the same pathway, and they connect each other and they learn together. And finally, the highest level of cooperation is co-creation, meaning learners build the project together. Not only they learn together, they share, but they create something new. They create a new knowledge by experimenting together. And that's what we called inclusive digital learning. So when you plan to work with digital projects, please include those models, the summer model, to think about what you're doing. And please try as much as possible to work with inclusive digital learning. Thank you for your attention.